Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I can show you a couple of the projects we're working on. Um, I mean, basically, we're, we're hoping someone with some front end experience like HTML, CSS can, can do a little work, um, maybe like three hours a week, something like that. And then, you know, we can help with your CV, with your LinkedIn, you know, write some recommendations and endorse some skills, stuff like that. That's kind of what we can mm -hmm. offer. Um, okay. And also, you know, I think it's a pretty cool project uh, once you get to see yeah. it. Um, yeah, uh, Elijah, can you make me the screen share person? Yeah. yeah I can I'll show you kind of some of the things we're working on. So here's kind of the basic, uh, you know, this is just a login screen for our, our regular website, just planetaryguardians.net. Yeah. Um, and this would be the, the entry point um, for a few different softwares that we're building. Mm -hmm. um, so what so, kind of what kinds of software you're using for? Uh, which kind are we meet or sorry, which kind am I using or which kind are we building? Yeah, build it. Like what kinds of language you're using? Okay. Um, yeah, one of them we're building basically a new type of uh, discussion platform. So mm -hmm. it's um, sort of like a chat room, but it has a lot of uh, like unique mechanics that we're building into it in order to okay. Um, enable discussions in a, in a controlled way. Um, that's one of the things we're doing. Um, another one, I think Elijah was talking about before, it's, it's more of an oracle. So it's, um, you know, people can ask a question. Um, like, for example, they can write their own question or, uh, or, or, you know, I can ask a question, something like this, and then it'll give them an answer based on And then, so each of these three circles in the middle are actually part of a card set that Elijah's designed. Um, yeah. I think there's maybe 300 cards or something. I'm not sure how many. 400. 400 cards. So yeah, and they are they're quite complicated, and he he understands them better than I. But um, they're they we're they're they're being used in a few different places in our software program. Basically, like even the the picture that, that it's in Elijah's background there. Um, that's part of the system as well. So there's a lot of pieces. Mm -hmm. He's already designed the entire system already, um, and we're okay. we're beginning to build the different pieces of it. Mm -hmm. um, so this portion is more like um, a way that people can ask questions and, and get answers to you know, and they could ask ask um, more specific questions. And yeah, yeah, he's got the actual physical cards, which are going to be incorporated into a board game as well, and also sold as. Uh, you know, like decks of cards. Um, but you could ask a, a different type of question, for example, like a social question. Um, you know, this is some pre-built questions for people to answer. Uh, how can I be a better communicator? And same thing, it would give them what we call a spell. And, you know, based on that, the person can kind of get their own answer from the universe in that way, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and and same thing, they can see some of the earlier ones that they've done before. You know, oh, what did I you know ask this time? Um, you know, uh, and they can, you know, oh, what's my greatest strength? Oh yeah, right. And they can see the ones that they already got. Um, and also, they can save the spell, and they can save okay. it as an image or a PDF. Um, and that actually creates an actual. This is a single image file now. Um, so, and then they can share this. The idea is they'll be able to share this particular thing on their Facebook or whatever they want, um, which is one thing that we haven't quite got working. We've got this social share on the right, but it shares only the website. So we haven't quite, we're hoping someone can figure that part out so that when they save their spell and it gives them that, that finished one that they can share that particular spell. So that, that's something we're still working on. Um, but yeah, this is another piece we're making. Um, a, a third piece is is this uh, kind of interface here that allows um, sort of like the facilitators of, of the chat room technology uh, to create uh, you know a particular uh, chat space for their organization or their group. Um, this is just an interface we've created so that they can set that up basically for each each time they want a different. You know, they want a very specific chat room um, to foster collective intelligence, for example, it would do something like this, and select the mission, 
and our, our chat room technology has seven steps to the to the one system. Mm -hmm. So it takes them takes the organization or the group through a, a seven step process of, of kind of like brainstorming the idea and then starting to work out the details and then forming some decisions about what they're going to do and then assigning roles to people and then building a plan. And each of the seven steps will have mechanics actually built into the software. So that kind of enables them to do that more easily. And that's sort of like what we're offering there. Um, and the first thing that I kind of started showing as well, that's also part of the same chat stream technology. Um, and we're working with this, this group called the Lysiel Foundation. Uh, they're a group of 144 people across 30 different countries. Um, and they've got a lot of like pretty prominent people. They got like, you know, like New York Times bestsellers. They've got some Netflix producers. They've got a, a lot of business owners and stuff in their, in their group. And they're actually testing the technology for us. Um, and we're building a version of it specifically for them right now as well. Um, mm -hmm. And this would just be kind of the interface that they would the, they would see like this is some of the people involved. Um, and yeah, anyway, uh, Basically, yeah, we have a few different projects. Some of them are, are, are mostly finished, like uh, the Choose a Remedy, it's, it is basically finished. And some of them are kind of in the middle, they're still being worked on, they're still being finished. And some of them are, you know, really need some work. <laughs> so okay. depending on, on what you might be interested in, um, you know, there's a, there's a variety of projects we're doing. That's, that's awesome, yeah. Yeah, so. I guess what we, you know, what we can offer is you can, you know, if you can do some front end design for us, you know, a few hours a week for something, you can put that on your portfolio. You know, it's it's some pretty good projects, I think, to, to showcase. So that would help, I think, anyone. Okay. And, you know, we can kind of help each other out is what I mean. Okay, um, so if awesome. you're interested. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I guess uh, the next thing, you know, like, um, and what about you? Like, obviously, you're no front end design pretty good. You have HTML and JavaScript and, and CSS yeah, experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, previous company, I just use HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And now okay. this, I'm setting the React JS as well. So, oh, nice. uh, so this website also needs to be the web responsive uh, yeah. page as well, right? Yeah, um, and I, I should say as well, I'm the I'm the programmer. Like I do all the backend stuff. I'm I'm a pretty good programmer, but I'm not a very good designer. So, yeah, uh, we we need someone who can do responsive design for sure. Yeah, because yeah, okay. these these designs sort of don't they don't really look very good for mobile, for example. You know. Mm. Yeah. So, I guess. Uh, are you interested in helping? Yeah, that is interesting. And then also need to be the improve for showing that it needs to be, you know, so like portal here and uh, kind of, you know, text here and, you know, some color as well. So need to be changed. Yeah. yeah, and like, you're welcome to, if it depends on what type of project you want to work on. Um, yeah, if you want to make this look better, that's great. If, or if you want to rather, if you want to do something like from the ground up, like start from scratch, then we have a couple of things we haven't actually started on yet, but it depends on what you want to do as well. Okay. I think this one also, I'm kind of interesting about this. Yeah, because I'm just looking for, now that I'm just looking for a new opportunity and especially um, the front end position, uh, front end okay. engineer position. So that is why I need to make some portfolio for that one as well. And I need to some show them what kinds of things I'm doing for for so organization or just you know this kind of the non profit organization, right? So I, I think it will be just good to have experience. And yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he talked okay, about, so I, uh, yeah, he talked about like uh, astrology, like some. Yeah. Astrology. Like before, yeah, yeah. So he, 
Exactly. Yeah, this one's more, th yeah. this particular website's a little more magical <laughs> orientated. But yeah, uh, like Elijah, you could probably see the background that Elijah's got. That's got uh, the Mayan astrology and a lot of different things built into it. There's a whole time translator he's developed. Um, and a lot of other interesting projects that, that are all connected. Um, so yeah, as far as showcasing some cool stuff on your portfolio, I think we probably have some projects for you. Okay, so before I just stop just this interview, I just just, just like researching about the, this non-profit organization. So it's like a kind of the protector, you know, some animal and environment as well, right? This like a organization. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, okay. yeah, planetary guardians. You mean? Okay. Uh, or do you mean planetary guardians, or do you yeah, mean the yeah. Lisiel Foundation? Yes, planetary guard guardian. That one. Yeah. Yeah, um, Elijah, you could probably talk more about that one. Well, well, like, what is Planetary Guardians? There's a, I'm working with five main product lines. The mm -hmm. Inflow Matrix Operating System, which is the main software system that connects everything together. There's okay. the, new, the New Paradigm Toolkit, which is maps, mm -hmm. game boards, card sets, processes, and software. Then there's okay. the School of Conscious Communication, it, it teaches all of it. And then Planetary mm -hmm. Guardians is like the global brand that's like a, a web TV network, a media system mm -hmm. that is run by the software system, the Inflow Matrix. And the Planetary Guardians use the tools of the New Paradigm Toolkit to build a whole new economic system. Okay. So I guess, yeah, as far as like the purpose, I think I think I could say, you know, Planetary Guardians is about, you know, protecting the planet and helping humanity and helping the future of the, the you know, the planet and the species, because we're going, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the systems that we have in place are kind of broken and not really good for the planet or maybe not even very good for people. We're, we're looking to hopefully change that, I so guess. Like, do you guys like have a, some, like, already investigated what kinds of things are affecting our art, you know? I mean. Say that again. So, so, so you, you're like organization just researching about um, what kinds of things are just attacking to our, um, you know, ecosystem and art. So is it right? Yeah, um, we, I mean, I think we're, we, we like planetary guardians has a lot of people in it and some of them are definitely aware of and have done research into yeah environmental problems and stuff like mm -hmm. one of the big causes elijah and i are also involved in is like uh, protecting old growth forests like um the you know ferry creek in, in vancouver island is like the last old growth forest they're trying to cut it down right now and, you know mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of stuff that's that uh, is on the radar kind of idea just That's know that just just one thing you don't know. Sarah just moved here from South Korea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm from oh, South Korea. Yeah. And, and she just moved to Vancouver. Oh, okay, cool. so, Welcome. So, so this is <laughs> like, and this is your first time living in Canada. Yeah, just before I just traveling to Canada, and I'm just you know I have a Canadian friends already. Like before I moved to Canada, I also like connect with my friends in Canada. Okay. So. I just, I talk about so much about this one, like the you know, environment thing. And I'm just like, you know, like specific, like, like, you know, location, like especially the British Columbia and I never just lived there. But there is like some problem also, like in South Korea as well, we have it. We have, we face the problem as well. So I'm just really like, like talking about this company, you know, some topic with my friends and Canadians friends. So yeah, so uh, it's quite interesting. So so you're you're interested uh, in bigger picture issues that affect everyone. Um, you want to make a contribution to like the species. Yeah, I just like research about this one. Like your organization already like in Facebook. So I just saw the one of the video like like about the salmon. Okay. Yeah, so it's quite 
interesting about that one. Mm -hmm. So just to give you an idea, like right now there's 144 mm -hmm. people in 34 okay. countries that are in a program put on by Luciel Foundation. And so they yeah. have they, they have 12 teams of 12 teams. And so what we're doing is we're creating a software program where mm -hmm. a facilitator gets 12 people into a chat room and then completes a goal. And once they've completed that goal, that's like a mission, and then they go to the next mission. And there's another goal. So basically it is a software to help teams of people accomplish things. It's not just like a, a random chat room that anyone can come in and you just talk about what you want. It's very specific. There's a facilitator, there's a goal, there's a team. And so we already have like in two weeks, we have it's lined up. Like we're testing this in two weeks with 144 people and 12 facilitators. Mm -hmm. So Nova right now is, is going to finish that with the, maybe the help of, of you and maybe some others, maybe not, depending upon how quick you can come in and, you know, which piece you, you are working on. Because some people are going to be working on things that doesn't matter about time. This thing, there's a two, two like a, actually a one week time deadline where this has to be ready to get tested by this group. All right, but that being said, okay. it will be ready. I'm going to finish it right. anyway. <laughs> um, but we want someone to come in after me and and make it look better because okay. even though Lysiel will be testing it for us, we want to be able to offer this to other organizations and they know that it's like they they know that it's not 100% like perfect looking yet. But when we want to, you know, other people to use it, we want it to look better for sure. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the so the the revenue stream because th these are volunteer jobs but if we if we get done what we get done then we're going to start creating mm -hmm. you know revenue streams where we can begin to pay people okay. so the revenue stream is lucielle is 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 one let's say customer and once we figure out how to do it then we'll have like multiple customers like that will just be like one of the product lines that then we can offer to other organizations or bring in people ourselves and so there each each piece of the puzzle is its own product line so at some point we're going to find a place that you fit and find out exactly what you're good at doing and and how it fits in with the other things and um and then hopefully start to have a a, a methodology of bringing products out and distributed in the world and we have a lot of them going through our system because i've got tons of of the software systems tons of pieces that and they're all very good. Okay. Yeah. So I guess if, if you're, you know, obviously you're interested and, and yeah, I think showing some of this on your portfolio will help you in, in the end, get a, get a job for this anyway. Um, we can, uh, yeah, I guess if, if you wanted to start like later this week or something, like in a few days, we could set something up, uh, or, or you could ask more questions now. I, I'm not sure where what you're thinking. What do you need to know? Uh, uh, first of all, I think I want to just knowing about the you know this system already is made it right. It was still passed. So like this kind of technical, like you know some technical background. on the stack okay. yeah I, I mean this is all just built in um just html5 css3 um just mostly regular javascript i used a lot of jquery as well um uh, it would be nice to do with react or something like that obviously um, i just don't i don't really know react very well myself and then the whole back end is php mysql uh, it's on an apache server like linux mm -hmm. Yeah. So so this this is then also like managing in server. Which server? I mean, you use the uh, we have, Linux server. We have a server. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we we have our own server right now, just a Linux Linux Apache server, and we're hosting it ourselves. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to work with us, I could give you direct FTP access to the server. You can you know modify the files live if you want. Um, mm -hmm. We aren't currently using GitHub or anything, so. It's pretty basic at that at that rate, 
but uh, if you're if you're comfortable with just like accessing the files and uploading them yourself, then it's pretty easy. Okay, that is cool. Okay. So like you and, said, so, so you think that I, I mean that you really want to start as soon as possible. I mean, can I just start like the day, uh, like second week of September? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be fine with us. Yeah, maybe you, next week we, we, we need to just talk about like how to just change that one and like technical issue as well. And then I need to just, you know, look over some kind of the system as well. So I want to, after next week, I think it's better to start. Okay, yeah, sure. So we can do another meeting in like next week sometime and talk about more of the details and everything. And then okay. from there, if you want. Okay, and yeah, uh, if you want, you can, you know, Google, uh, the LCL Foundation, if you want to know who we're working with as well. Um, and yeah, the Planetary Guardians itself is, you know, we have a Discord channel and that sort of thing that you can join when you're ready. But uh, yeah, why don't we just leave it at that and we can arrange another meeting for in a few days or, or next week kind of idea and give you a chance to to look at some some stuff and we can go over all the tech and everything then. I really like, you know, interesting about the that system is like you know, that environment is connecting to Sprint or like because I, I really don't know that industry so like your organization just follows some which well, industry like, like, I mean this like, what are we doing? like like connecting to the some some street thing or street Sprint and Sprint. Sprint? Oh, you mean in sprints? No. You mean working in sprints? Uh, uh, the two week sprints? Send uh, like war, like you know, some spirit, yeah. Because I I couldn't get it all about being like the systems, <laughs> okay? Yeah, um, I guess, yeah, it's like uh, interesting. What's the question? Like, she's talking about how, how, how all of this is connected to spirit, really, yeah. To spirit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I feel guided by spirit. I mean, we're, we're bringing an ethical business system in, like the value side of this is that we, we're bringing in values. There's a way to program mm -hmm. this. This is like a universal business system. And the green conduits are where the values go. So if you had, let's say, integrity at stewardship, cooperation at research, uh, simplicity at infrastructure, it's a way to program value systems into a software system. And that to me is like every, every spiritual tradition is basically based upon some set of values. Mm -hmm. Whether it's mercy or love or gratitude, humility. Uh, what I sort of discovered was a way to program custom design value systems into a universal business model. Okay. And, that's, and that's what this, like we're not, the first two things we showed you, we're not doing that, but that needs to get built. I don't know if you're interested in that, but that to me is a very, like the, the person would, you could randomly choose values that go into each of these or choose the values because that's the big thing about divination versus choice. And then press the button, boom, you've got a PDF for a value system. That's like hugely valuable. Okay. And you can do that at the individual level, the organizational level, and at the community level. 
So it's a multi-dimensional thinking system that is within the card system that can be programmed by values. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a lot behind everything. And then we're bringing together offline cards with online software programs. Oh, okay, I got it, okay. So, and did so it like anyone can approach the, because anyone can approach the website. So <clears throat> they can also like approach it to this website that they can know about their you know, results of the car, right? Mm -hmm. Software like, like processing, like by by your software, like this here. Like if you look at this, it's the same pattern as okay. this. Same pattern as this. That the yellow is at the individual level. The red is at the organizational level different words, same pattern. So the software at some point is actually color coded to the different time cycles that are in this. This is the main time program. The outside, the purple is lifetime. The blue is yearly. The lunar is, uh, the aquamarine is lunar. The okay. green is daily. The yellow is seasonal. The pink is an hour. Orange is minutes, present moment is red, and then timelessness. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing together, and then you can take these values and you can program the time cycle. You can program okay. compassion at hourly. You can program empowerment at lunar. And so this is a, a new way to program values into a multiple time cycle idea. Mm -hmm. So already like Nova, you already like made it right. So that processing API, right? Like any kinds of API or the the API. I mean, you just or... like make a, some like processing for this. He told told me about it, right? So there, she already made it in backend system, right? Yeah, yeah, like uh, this, this, for example, is basically made. Yeah. Um, and, and this one is made. Um, but like, they're not, they're not responsive, for one thing, right? Like, as soon as you start changing the screen, it's kind of broken yeah, looking. Yeah. Uh, that okay. sort of thing. So yeah, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not the best designer is the problem. I, I'm pretty good with programming. Um, so that's where we, we would need someone to help. And same with this one. It's pretty good. But I, I again, it's it breaks. And yeah, correct. yeah. <laughs> it looks good when I show it to someone, but yeah, only at the right screen size. So why did you ask that question? About spirit? I mean, yeah. Because like I, I saw that some puddle, like when I just researched about the Listable Foundation here, it has a spirituality and connected in interconnectivity and ecology oh. like some part oh, of yeah. i just saw that right now so okay. yeah why is he has it has this virtuality so connected so i always know that though uh, yeah L L CL is very spiritually guided by what they're doing so they're very um they went around the world and found 12 elders to find out the, the wisdom that they carry. And so their, their mandate is to create sort of like the new earth, like to give birth to a new way of being, hopefully that's you know filled with love and peace. Um, so they, ha they have a very high aim. And then they, they put a call out to about 10,000 people. And then they were guided to which which people came in, and then they had 144 people. So they're using the sacred number of 144 to organize 12 teams of 12. Okay. And then I was brought in with four other sort of contractors or design architects to assist in creating a one-year training program. And so we've been doing. We're in month five, and 
this piece. I'm actually there. taking the program. I'm taking yeah. the training program. So I'm on the inside as well. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's quite a, a large research experiment and it's, um, you know, so far so good, but we're two weeks away from actually bringing this piece of the puzzle, which is, which is the uh, chat room experience to be tested. So it's, it's a quite an interesting time. Uh -huh. Yeah, like I think uh, Luciel, they had like an, uh, the two, basically the couple, I think, who started Luciel. This is the way I understand it is they had a okay. spiritual kind of calling and they were told by the universe that they had to find these 12 elders. And they went, they went traveling around the world, felt these 12 elders, and then brought them in front of the United Nations. And they did some sort of presentation with them, but then they found that it was not enough and that they needed to elders. create a school. 12 elders. Elders, did I did I know them or? Um, Probably well, not. I don't know. You you can look on their website. It's on their website. No. Okay. Yeah. There's a I movie, don't know. There's enough a movie you can watch. That's true. So, are you interested in such matters? Uh, the firstly, I just I I just want to change this website. And I just like you know some design. So you're, you're wondering if you're wondering because, if it's like, or not. Uh, because yeah. I to just to, to just um, understand you know what kinds of like you know like for for changing this website like front end position I I I I just wanted to know about like what kind of thing like background like no so should i need to know about this one i mean absolutely i should know about this uh, so my concept as well so <laughs> that is why i ask to you yeah okay you, you want the context good yeah i mean uh it's a huge like elijah's working on a huge collection of software pieces that all come together. And one of those main okay. pieces is, is this chat stream technology um, that we're building basically for any kind of nonprofit organizations or even corporations and, and you know, businesses um, it, as, a, as a kind of a, its own thing, but it's of course connected to the rest of the software system. And at the, at the moment, this actual chat stream software um, we just we have an opportunity to test it with this Liciel group, um, so that's why we're we're building it for them specifically. But at the at the end of the day, we're going to also be offering this to other organizations in, later on. So that's why it needs to look better, you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's so it's not really restricted to you know environmental causes or anything specifically. Um, in the end, it could be used by you know, McDonald's, I guess, but they would have to pay us some money so that we can give it for free to other organizations. Because <laughs> ultimately we want to be able to help the planet, right? So we're, we're trying to create a new technology, uh, a new communications technology and basically uh, in, this, in this area um, and offer it to organizations like LCL and perhaps charge corporations to also use it if they want to use it. So ultimately, okay. it could look it could look a few different ways depending on the client, I suppose. Okay. I don't know if that helps helps you answer the question there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's there. cool. Cool. How old well, are you? Uh, I'm twenty six. Twenty six. Mm -hmm. And are are you gonna are you looking to live in Canada like for a long time or just for a little bit or? Uh, I have open working visa right now, so I also want to immigrate to Canada right now. Oh, you do. I'm just finding a way, so that is why I need to get a job offer. Yeah, especially in the British Columbia, there is like some tech program, so can immigrate to Canada. Okay. Yeah, so that is why I want to have some experience in Canada. So I'm just looking for some voluntary position. That is why. 
Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, I'm I'm actually live in, in New Zealand, but I'm from Canada, Vancouver Island originally, and Elijah lives in Vancouver. So yeah, um, I guess we're all technically from British Columbia now, even though you just got there and I just left. But yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, we'll try to help you with that any way we can as well. And as far as, you know, improving your portfolio or work experience and being able to say, hey, you know, I worked with this, these groups, it'd probably help, I would think. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, that's cool. But yeah, uh, do you want to keep talking more or do you want to meet again next week and have some time to think about it or in a few days or something? Yeah, a few days um, I want to think about it and then maybe we, next week we can talk about it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, you seem really great. I, I'm sure, I think I can speak for Elijah too. I'm sure we would love to have you on the team, but uh, obviously you should you should do some more thinking and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll contact you again in a few days and, and see if you want to have another meeting. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Okay, well, really great to meet you. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> well, I've got to go in five minutes or less, I would say. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Man. I think I should just stop talking. Really? I thought that was well, pretty good. Yeah. She had a lot of questions, very specific questions. And you're the one with the knowledge. I, I'm the one with the programming. <laughs> no, so, but I, 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 don't, I don't think. Yeah, she was just. Um, yeah, just trying to get the contacts. To, but I don't think she had any interest in what I was saying. But I'm not sure. It's just a little bit hard to read. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I have no idea how much she took in. It's interesting, yeah. eh? like we're dealing with very different cultures here. Yeah. Odd. But she's uh, hungry. I mean, the thing is, all these people have, you know, getting this is better than not getting this. You know, any project is better than no project. Yep. Yeah. Is you're getting experience, you're learning. You're... Yeah, definitely. I think it's. I think it is a fair trade what we're offering them, and you know, the ones who need experience and something to put on their portfolio, then great. But then we need them. You know, I, 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 I do want to track everyone's hours, and um... yeah, I I think that's not a bad idea, but I I don't. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I would say just don't bother telling them that but up to you. No, no, I, I want, like at the end of every month or something, like people hand in how many hours they did and it goes in a database so we know. I don't, I don't, I don't, like I fundamentally in my mindset, I don't, I want to have a way of paying people either in a new currency or with uh, free courses. No, no, no. But, but we are paying them. That's the thing. We're, we're doing an exchange that doesn't involve money and that's the best kind of exchange. I know, but just let's say we get these people, we build these programs, and, let, and let's say in six months or a year, we're making tons of money. Well, we come back with them with a job offer. Well, yeah. No I mean, well, that's what I mean, but also maybe a little bonus. I'm just saying that I would like to be that we're so wealthy that we can take care of stuff like that, and we should be thinking about it. At least I am. I'm thinking about it. Well, okay. I don't, I don't, but the, I don't think they are. And I don't think they need to be yet. That's what I'm saying. It, it's too much for them, probably, well, that's okay. to, to start thinking like that. Because they're thinking of it as a, a short-term volunteer thing to help help out their profile and help us out with our project. You're, you're thinking of long-term relationships. I think we don't need to push that. The long-term relationships will automatically happen with the people who stick around for long-term. So, you know, if they stick around for, they do seven hours of work and they're gone and, you know, no reason to record their hours, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You know me. I just like to keep things simple and not to integrate everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good because I mean, 
we're we just come at it from such a different angle that it's good i mean i see what i see that i'm kind of like i get lost in the vision or i or i think the vision is is the big piece when a lot of times it's just just fucking fix the tire man you don't have to hear about how the world's getting saved <laughs> You know? Yeah, something like that. All right, I better go. Um, okay, we got our next one. Next one's at uh, seven. With Ezekiel. Yep. How many? Ezekiel. Wait. Okay. Okay, Mister. Uh, get it done. How many have said? Are we at four or five? All right, we have Donnie, Sunil, Muhammad, and Faho. We oh, and Het. We've got five already, including her. No. So we've got five new people, not including <laughs> her. I'd be surprised if she, I get a vibe she's not going to, it's not going to work for her. I don't know. I don't know. But I how many, like, what, what, what are we, we're going to start to build the whole fucking thing if we get this many people. Yeah. That's the plan, Sam. Don't forget the secret plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you, brother. All right, no, I should run. I got to go to the CL meeting. Uh, see you at 7th.